This video will explain the use of manual entry to add optional stops and comments to aid your operators. This part has a pocket with four different levels. Each one of those levels is drilled. We must clear the chips of this pocket before we send the drill in or there is a possibility that the drill can break. In order to facilitate this stop, we can create a manual entry as machine code or as a comment in order for the machine or the operator to produce a required activity. As you can see here, we have a toolpath that roughs out the pocket. Again, this toolpath is going to leave chips inside this pocket that need to be removed before we can finish machining. So after the roughing, I've added a manual entry here, which basically says M00 machine stop. As you can see here, it's listed as code. You have two different output methods. One is as comment and one is as code. Therefore, anything that you place in the character window is going to be output into the program itself. The other entry that I've made is a notification for the operator to clear the chips from the lower right pocket. Again, I did not output this as code, but as a comment. Let's see what that looks like in the NC editor. As you can see here in the NC editor, the M0 comment and the clean chips from lower right pocket comment have been added to our code, and that is independent of any of the tool paths that are already posted. So in this case, the roughing continues above, then an M0 is called to stop the machine. The operator can then open the doors, clear the chips from the lower right pocket, close the doors, press cycle start, and continue machining. Now that I've shown you how manual entry looks, let's go ahead and make some for ourselves. I've added a tapping cycle, but we want to make sure that all of the holes are drilled correctly before we send the tap in. So let's go ahead and add a manual entry between the tap and the drill cycle. Again, I click between the two toolpaths, right click, mill toolpaths, manual entry. The manual entry window comes up and again, I can enter text in the window. I can use a text file. And again, I can export the characters or the text file as comment or as code. In this particular case, let's open up a text file. I go ahead and click Use Text File, and now I can select a text file to open up. In this case, I've created one that says Table Present. Go ahead and select that. Now you can save that in the Mastercam file here, or you can read only when posting. I'm going to go ahead and click Read Only When Posting. Now, because it's actual code and not just a comment, I'm going to go ahead and switch that to code. So even though it's a text file that I've opened, I can still post it out as code. I hit OK. Now, that presents the table to the operator. Now I need to tell the operator what to do. So go ahead and, again, make another manual entry. This time we're going to enter some text. Again, the text is going to say, check for broken drill. We're going to go ahead and post that out as a comment, not as code. The difference being that a comment has parentheses around it and a code does not. Now that we've made those manual entries, now we can go ahead and take a look at the code. So I post it out. And as you can see here, I have my drilling operation above, followed by a G28Y0, which presents the table to the operator, an M0, which stops the machine, the operator then can open up the doors, check for broken drills. If everything is okay, you can go ahead and close the doors, hit cycle start, and start tapping all those holes.